series circuit, the current flows in only one direction. Example, Vt is equal to 9V, R sub 1 is equal to 300 ohms, and R sub 2 is 400 ohms. Step 1, find the RT. RT is equal to R sub 1 plus R sub 2. RT is equal to 300 ohms plus R2 is equal to 400 ohms. Total resistance is equal to 700 ohms. Step 2. Find the IT. IT is equal to VT over RT. IT is equal to 9V over 700 ohms. Here's a cycle to get the IT. So 9 over 700. And the answer is 12.86 milliampere. Take note. In series circuit, current is constant. IT is always equals to I1 and the I2 and so on. Step 3. V1 is equal to I1 times R1. So it's 12.86 milliampere times 300 ohms. And use the calculator to get the answer. So the answer is 3.86 volts. That's the V1. And for the V2, I2 times R2. So it's 12.86 milliampere times 400 ohms. Use a calculator to get the answer. So the answer is 5.14 volts. We're going to do the checking. So Vt is equal to V1 plus V2. So 3.86 volts plus 5.14 volts. So use the calculator to get the answer. So it's 9 volts. So it's the correct answer. The parallel circuit, the circuit where the current flows in the two or more direction. Here is the example. Vt is 9 volts, R1 is 8 ohms, and R2 is 9 ohms. Step 1, find the RT. And here is the given formula of RT. Just substitute all of the given in the formula. To get your answer, you're going to need a scientific calculator and just write down all of the given. Now, the answer is 4.24 ohms. Step two, find the IT. And here is the given formula for IT and just substitute all of the given. Use a scientific calculator to get the answer of IT. And the answer of your IT is 2.12 Ampere. After getting IT, you're going to get I1 and here is the formula. Again, use a scientific calculator to get the answer. And the answer of your I1 is 1.25 Ampere. After getting I1, you're going to get I2. And here's the given formula. And use a calculator to get the answer.
and the answer of your I2 is 1 ampere. Next, to know the answer if it's correct, we are going to do the checking. We are going to add the I1 and I2. And if the answer of I1 and I2 is same as the value of IT, that's correct. Combination circuit, the combination of series and parallel circuit. For example, the total voltage is 24 volts, R1 is 2 ohms, R2 is 4 ohms, R3 is 4 ohms, R4 is 6 ohms. Step 1. Find the R2 and R3. Our R2 is 4 ohms, R3 is 4 ohms. R2 times R3 all over R2 plus R3 is equal to 4 ohms times 4 ohms all over 4 ohms plus 4 ohms. So let's use our cycle for solving. 4 times 4 all over 4 plus 4 is equal to 2. R1 is equal to 2 ohms, R2 and 3 is equal to 2 ohms, and R4 is equal to 6 ohms. Step 2, find the RT. And this is the formula. Use a cycle and add all the given numbers. So 2 plus 2 plus 6 is equal to... 10 ohms. Step 3. Find the IT. And this is the formula. VT over RT. So it's 24 volts over 10 ohms. Use the calculator to get the answer. The total current is 2.4 ampere. Step 4. Find the V1, V2, and 3, and V4. Let's get the V1. R1 times I1. So it be 2 ohms times 2.4 ampere. Use the calculator to get the answer. And V1 is equal to 4.8 volts. For V2 and 3, 2 times 2.4 is equal to 4.8. So the answer for V2 and 3 is 4.8 volts. And lastly, for the V4, R4 times I4, 6 ohm times 2.4 ampere. And the answer is 14.4 volts. 